First, we should create the new project. Let's create the new project, architecture template, and after that, we will straight away can go to create the new messing because the our project is just a flat where we will place our panels. Let's go to the family. We will find here the messing form, and I will use the metric mess form. Let's open up it, and here we should create our messing form. So we will just draw outline. You can draw any outline what you want. I will draw mine own one go to the just reference plane the level one and start to draw you don't have a lot of the tools here you can draw only the bylines draw some interesting form or maybe your case doesn't matter which what you will do but uh, under the finish you should get only just outline lines Once you will finish your outline, just use the extrusion and just create the solid box. Create your uh, the one layer size. For example, the my panels will be only 4,500 millimeters. So and that's why my mesing form will be also 4,500 millimeter. Do the same thing if your panel like that and divide it by just divide the panels and uh, just make it uh, as real so it means uh, if your panel for example the height 4500 millimeter the, the width it's like three meters do the same for the pattern it will be easily when we will uh, load inside our new family in this messing form so once you will do that just go on and we will create the new family Now it's time to create the new family, we will go to the family and here we should find metric generic adaptive family. So the adaptive family will give us a lot of the possibilities and we can place it on the pattern based thing. So here is our metric generic pattern based family. Uh, just let's make the same size which we allowed already on the our amazing form. And this is 4500 millimeter by 3000 millimeter and as you can see here is our future shape. So now we should only the include the dots the main thing you should right click on the reference after that choose the dot and after that set the working plane and only after that place your dot so let's repeat set your working plane place the dot again set working plane place the dot only by this way your dot will be exactly under your and uh, the main dot so it means if you will change dimension or if you will change position the second one will follow it so once you will finish that uh, let's select the dots which uh, on the top side and we will create the parameter which calling like uh, top something for you once for example top point or something like that so let's select this parameter for the top points and now if you will change for example as you can see dimension from zero to something for example 400 it will change position and this will change position exactly upper the main one so the same thing we will do for the bottom side so don't forget uh, select your reference points working plane and only after that place the dot again set working plane and place the dot done once you will finish select the point go to the offsets and create the new parameter as you can see here the new parameter bot and write what you whatever you want you just should understand what is that parameter only for that thing so this parameter it's not some specific one now it's time to connect our dots, so go to the reference line, find the line, don't forget 3D snapping, this is main thing, 3D snapping on, and let's continue one by one, just you going from the one point to the another point. So as you can see I'm using the clockwise, and after that let's connect our bottom part with the upper part, as you can see I'm connecting the bottom part the dots with the upper part. So once you will finish that, we should include some more points, so this tutorial is most about the points because points for this tutorial are really important let's place this point on the bottom side place it somewhere here it doesn't matter the parameters we will do some settings right now let's change to the to the length because now we can see the length of our point and let's change our length to related one so for which you want to make it so I'm changing the type of uh, to the length because I don't want to use the uh, percent I want to use the uh, real length and let's change it once you will finish just go to the the top side and do the same thing there 
As you can see here is our dot, but once you will select it, you can see the working plane. For the change this situation, you just should change uh, the visibility working plane to the always. Select your point, change to the always, uncheck the second blocks, and now you can see all working planes around the, around this dot. So what means what what it's give you to you? If you will cho choose the reference point and set work plane, you can ch change uh, the work plane from the horizontal to the vertical one and place the dot. This give you ch plane your dot not only horizontal one you can now move it on the vertical one and uh, you can do anything what you want as you can see it's going to the right side or the left side up to you now let's do the same thing on the top side just place the dot and uh, just change the position uh, just approximately you can create the formula this is really simple formula uh, for triangle so to make the uh, right position but if you don't want just make approximately uh, on the one line and the, I mean the top side and the bottom side make on the one line just approximately it's also not will be mistake for our situation but if you want to get exactly data like uh, one by one so the better use the triangle formula and you will get exactly data so as you can see i'm going to the bottom to the right side and i doing i i, I just moving it approximately uh, without anything now one most interesting thing we should create the point but this point should follow the angle line so as you can see i'm placing now dot I'm selecting dot and I'm changing the offset and this dot changing the offset not on the straight direction it's changing the by the vector of the line so as you can see on the my uh, if you will place the point on this line the vector it's keeping the same li as a line if you will write the plus number for example 50 uh, it will go the out it will go offset if you will uh, write like minus 50 it will, it will go the, on the opposite side and it will be uh, minus 50 of course and it's going on the opposite side So now it's time to create a new family. Let's create the new family. We will create just a metric generic adaptive one. So because we have the points, we should create the family by these uh, adaptive points. We should create uh, now glass panel. Let's use the four points. As you can see, here is my four points and I'm keeping, as you can see, uh, not clockwise the way. So just keep this way and you not will get any problem. For example, when you will place uh, your your panel uh, on your family uh, don't do it messy like one five six make it one two three four and just on and on now let's use 3d snapping for the line let's connect one line one point to the another point and till the finish here is some uh, warning message doesn't matter so do, do, don't 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 mind it and when once you will finish let's select our everything let's filter it by we need only the points let's select our points and let's make it make it adaptive one so now as you can see one two three four and this one you should keep it up now we should create uh, the extra points this extra points should be based on the work plane yes horizontal work plane and we should place the our points exactly on the point once you will finish it, we should make the offset and we should make again the reference line for the top side. When you will finish everything, when the top side is will be ready, let's select the top side, let's select the reference line from the bottom side and let's create our form. Done. Now we get ready form. Now we need only apply the material and we can load it inside to the project. Here is our panel, before we will load it inside of the project, let's save it, let's save it, we should create the name, because the naming is really important, if you will save it like family 1, family 2, family 3, you not will understand in one time, what is that family 1, so let's save it, like uh, call it whatever you want, for example, the glass panel, and let's go inside to the project, once you will go to the, uh, inside our project with the panel, place it, exactly the same type like you did uh, cre like you create your panel one two three four so a uh, not clockwise way so just select the point where you want to snap it and that's it once you will finish you will get your panel
Now it's time to apply material. Let's select our panel and our, as you know, the, our material is instance. We can apply material inside in our uh, main family and let's call it as you want. So let's call it uh, how you want. Uh, change the material, change the transparency, uh, change, for example, the some, I don't know, the uh, maybe maybe like hatching, so up to you, do use the background, maybe solid color, doesn't matter. Once you will finish, say OK, and your panel now we have the material exactly what you want. So by this way, we should create a lot of the panels now. For example, we will create the insulation. So again, you're going to the adapted family, you placing like four dots. The difference is uh, we before we have the four dots flat, but now we should create the four dots on uh, not flat. Actually, technically it's flat, but you can place it, for example, not flat. You can place it a bit under your uh, your bottom side bottom side point. So it doesn't matter. And after that, doing the same thing, just making the reference line, select reference lines and create the form. Again, don't forget to save with different name. Don't forget to make the material for that one and load it inside to the project. Place it and create again panels. So we need uh, more like three panels. Actually, we need four panels. Let's create all, all these panels a bit fast because the actually the way it's totally same it's nothing new so i will make it on the a bit um, high speed duration uh, and you can make it uh, slowly in youtube if you want and you will see exactly how i did so i not will cut anything you will see all the process So here we are, here is our panel, as you can see we have a lot of the panels inside this ma um, uh, the main one panel. So why we did that? Because we can calculate, we can calculate, we get the data. So let's save our family, so first we should be save our family and after that let's go inside to the our messing form and let's apply our panel to the messing form. Once we will apply it, let's load our messing form inside to the project and now will be the magic. Here is our panel and here is our insulation. And for example, you want to calculate the, your insulation. But before, let's create the section. I'm creating the section. I'm going to the section. And as you can see on the section, you can see everything what you want. You can go to the, your family and create more deeply everything what you want. For example, you want to make some connections. You want some roller shutters or something like that. You can do whatever you want in family. Once you will load it again back to the project, you will, it's updated. So we create our family and now let's go to the schedule and let's create schedule of our material. And 
as you can see just few filtering and few um, parameters from the material and bam we have the materials so as you can see we can con control our materials we know how much materials we want you can control it for example by uh, not area you can control it by volume if you want but anyway now you have the data and now you know how many uh, the material you you need for this facade done as you can see uh, by this way you can create any kind of families not just only adaptive one but i mean not just only panels you can create any family uh, by adaptive one and after that you can calculate more thing than just uh, if you will use for example the curtain wall done i hope by this way you will find really useful and you will use in your project so if this really nice for you just don't forget to, to make it the like don't forget about the comments and uh, of course share this video this way really helps me to create new types of the video thank you guys and see you next time